Hey everyone, this is Garrett McLaughlin. We're here at Quest Performance in Brentwood, Tennessee. Uh, I'm here with Alyssa and what we're going to do is just demo what active release techniques is. Um, as an athletic trainer, a big part of what I do is, is soft tissue and hands-on work. Active release techni techniques is a way to work on um, any, time, any type of muscle, ligaments, tendons, help release and trap nerves. So really working on different soft tissue structures to get the body uh, functioning and moving the way it's supposed to. So what we're going to show you here is how to work on the calf. Uh, pretty common area right now, especially a lot of runners getting ready for different marathons, different events through the spring and the summer. Uh, putting a lot of tension on the body. So if you think of after running, especially endurance athletes in particular, a lot of repetitive a lot of repetitive motions where you're putting a lot of stress on the body. The, muscle, the body doesn't always heal back in a straight kind of linear fashion. When we form and the muscle regenerates and regrows, it often forms back in a kind of a, a crazy pattern like this. So what we do with the active release techniques is go in with the hands, thumbs, fingers, whatever you need to get into that soft tissue to help realign the fibers, help restore proper function. And then we can find different areas within muscles or where nerves are, are moving along muscles to help free up those nerves and let them travel kind of in their natural way. So we're going to have Alyssa here laying her stomach with her foot up in. So what we're doing, every time with active release, we want to place the person, their joint, in a shortened position. So for her, we're going to point the toes down this way, and I'm going to find different areas on the calf that are tight or restricted. So right up through here, I'm going to place some small compression into the muscle and add tension upward this direction. So as I do that and find my spot, what I'm going to ask her to do is to pull her foot up. So now as she goes through all the way through that motion, this muscle is actually sliding this way. So my tension is against the way the, the muscle is moving. So I don't want to hold that muscle in place, but I'm trying to get and find different spots through that muscle that there's any adhesion, that, that the texture is really not the natural texture of the muscle. So if we run through several passes here from the shortened position, and then put it through that lengthened position. So trying to find different areas there, any kind of adhesions. And knowing where that tibial nerve is going to run right down through the back here, we can work right against that nerve, make sure the nerve is gliding the right way through the lower leg. But this technique can be done any, anywhere throughout the body. I mean, any kind of soft tissue structure, working up in between the shoulder blades, up through, through the chest, to help restore proper range of motion. A lot of people lately having different issues through the hips, um, sciatic nerve entrapment, that piriformis muscle um, is pretty tight from, from seated positions or kind of not getting into the right position to stretch out that muscle and that nerve is becoming entrapped as it, as it slides through the hip there. So any kind of soft tissue area throughout the body, active release can help clear up and, and work on those areas. If you have any questions about active release, come check me out at Quest Performance in Brentwood. Um, first session is free if you want to kind of see what active release is and try it out and see if it can help you. Um, definitely contact us and we'll get you going.